you want to make your own fragrance, huh? I got you. So in order to make our own fragrance, we're going to need a list of a few things. First, a glass beaker that can measure out 10 milliliters. A collection of essential oils. A carrier, such as propylene glycol. And then we'll need a dark glass vial and a way to apply it. I prefer a metal roller. You can also get an ionizer. So in order to make our own fragrance, we need to understand a little bit about notes. Fragrances usually have a combination of base notes, middle notes, and top notes. Base notes include things like cedarwood, sandalwood, frankincense, myrrh, vanilla, rose, musks, and ambergris. Middle notes are things like black pepper, chamomile, juniper, lavender, nutmeg, pine, and rosemary. Top notes are your lighter scents, things like bergamot, eucalyptus, your citruses like grapefruit, lemon, and orange, tea trees, thymes, and your mints like spearmint or peppermint. When you're making your fragrance, you want to use a combination of base notes, middle notes, and top notes. Some people recommend roughly a 20-50-30 ratio. 20% base notes, 50% middle notes, and 30% top notes. But really, this is up to you. I personally prefer the scent of base notes and top notes more than a lot of middle note fragrances. So when I make my own, I tend to lean a little bit heavier on base notes and top notes. The scent I'll be making today will consist of vanilla, sandalwood, frankincense, myrrh. I'll be using a little bit of rose water, lavender, sweet orange, bergamot. And the carrier I'll be using is food grade propylene glycol which doesn't have any odor in it. The formulation I'll be using today consists of five drops of vanilla, four drops sandalwood, three drops frankincense, about two drops of myrrh. It was good enough for baby Jesus, right? Four drops of lavender. About five drops of rose water. Five drops of orange. Five drops of bergamot. And I let it mix together. And then I add my propylene glycol to the 10 milliliter line. And then again, we mix it together. And once you're happy with the scent, you're going to add it to your glass vial. Add your applicator. And you're done. So now I've demonstrated how to make your own fragrance at home. Feel free to mix and match, try different scents and see what you like and what you can come up with. Enjoy. You know the creepiest thing anyone's ever said to me? You smell different when you're awake. <laughs>